Okay. So, uh, give a brief introduction of yourself. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Sohan Chani. Uh, I come from the city Balia, uh, which is located in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, coming to my academic details, I completed my graduation from Institute of Engineering and Technology, Lucknow, in chemical engineering. Uh, apart from this, ma'am, uh, I also ma hold an work experience uh, as JEA uh, in HRL uh, Hindustan Urvag Rasayan Limited uh, for nine months uh, in ammonia section, as well as uh, as graduate apprentice trainee in uh, DPCL CRDC Greater Noida, which is located in Greater Noida, uh, and uh, on CO2 methanization, uh, CO2 methanization and catalyst synthesis. Currently, I'm pursuing my masters in chemical engineering from IIT Bhatia. Okay, so you are pursuing your masters. Uh, if you get this job, you will leave your masters. Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, my the uh, yes. first uh, like yes, ma'am. Uh, my first goal is uh, like to acquire a like good job in good uh, organization. My first goal is that because actually IIT don't. When did you join your masters? Ma'am, in two thousand twenty-three, uh, in July month. When did you join your master? Twenty-three month. Okay, this July only. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so when did you pass out? Ma'am, uh, uh, in two thousand twenty-one. In two thousand twenty-one. Twenty-one. So you have done two jobs yeah. after that. So your first job. Yes, um, uh, one job and one apprentice. Only? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, okay. Because uh, like so, due to COVID, uh, I like pass. Uh, like I completed my graduation in uh, around August two thousand twenty one. Uh, then I joined my job in February two thousand twenty two. Okay, February two thousand twenty two. And for how long did you do that job? Uh, ma'am, nine months. Uh, for nine months, you. Sorry, uh, you not audible. And then you uh, went to BPCL. Uh, yes, ma'am. Now, uh, can you repeat, ma'am? After uh, that, like you went to BPCL. Now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I said after, after that, that uh, after that, you, you went to yes, BPCL. Yes, ma'am. After and that, I BPCL. Went... You have left. Uh, left. Okay. You, yes, then after, after that, you months. left BPCL and joined M Tech. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, see, uh, how do you think you are suitable for this job? Ma'am, uh, like, uh, uh, I think, uh, like, uh, my area of, like, uh, I have a relevant skill for this company and I, my area of interest and my long-term goal uh, is, like, I do research about this company and my area of interest and my long-term goal align with the, like, company goals, actually. So I'm, I think uh, I'm suitable for the job and also uh, my past experience from HRL and uh, like uh, and BPCL uh, to help me to like, uh, uh, to like um, perish in this career uh, and this organization called HRL. HRL. So I think uh, that's why I'm suitable because I already like some uh, set of skill uh, I acquired from my previous company, which helps me to like, uh, uh, like create a good career in this company. Okay, so basically, why are you preferring HRRL? Why not BPCL? Why not HPCL? Why HRRL? Ma'am, uh, first, uh, it is a uh, like a refinery. Uh, it's and uh, and also it is a new refinery. Right? Uh, uh, like most of the thing uh, I can't uh, like learn in uh, IOCL and BPCL because they already like uh, commission uh, themselves and they already function uh, as like refinery. But uh, in case of HR, uh, HRRL. Uh, there is a benefit of uh, like I can learn uh, like lot more about commissioning uh, how like actually the refinery get got commission uh, so there is a benefit uh, where I can learn uh, new things and also uh, after that uh, and the most uh, like important thing here is uh, if I got selected today uh, so like uh, I have a, a, a like very, like very good edge because I'm the like first of uh, first of the employee right uh, like initial stage of employee so. As our company grow, uh, so it's it's it give me a better opportunity to grow as well. So, so that's why HRL is the HRL is the best and a good opportunity for myself. Okay, who's the owner of HRL? 
Ma'am, uh, it is a joint venture of uh, Rajasthan uh, government and uh, as well as SPCL. Uh, although the states are different, uh, SPCL has uh, like contains seventy six percent of uh, like state of uh, HRL and twenty six percent of uh, uh, government of Rajasthan. Okay. So, uh, who's the petroleum minister? Uh, yes, uh, uh, sorry, I don't recall uh, right now, but uh, I will look into that. Look into it. Who's the director of HRRN? Yes, director. Uh, Mr. P.K. Joshi. Okay. Uh, and uh, where do you think, yeah, where do you see yourself after five years? Uh, as for uh, the company uh, like uh, promotion structure, uh, as we know, uh, like in three years, uh, we got permitted to the like assistant uh, to assistant year to like uh, engineer. So I think uh, in five years, uh, my pro like based on my performance, I will be uh, an engineer uh, in this company where I will be uh, E2 grade. Uh, and uh, also uh, I can like learn from that and on uh, five year uh, our company is all uh, already like uh, making products and uh, like fully commission and fully uh, like uh, function so uh, there i can see uh, as an engineer uh, in five years and also uh, i'm waiting for the next promotion in that company because uh, it's like uh, renew for my e2 e3 grade so i see as a like a better engineer and which is the largest world's uh, like uh, world's largest petroleum refinery hub? Uh, ma'am, if we talk about hub, then uh, it's uh, located in I think Saudi Arabia, but I'm not uh, like uh, totally uh, like not uh, like fully aware okay, of that. Okay, let's time. say um, uh, it's not that. But what, what? Where is the largest petroleum refinery in India? Uh Okay, India. Uh, I mem, uh, I think uh, the Reliance got the largest refinery in India because where? Mem, uh, I think uh, I have to look into it. Uh, I'm not aware of that fact. Okay. Uh, so you said that uh, you are from Balia. Yes, ma'am. What is it famous for? Ma'am, uh, there's a lots of uh, thing. Uh, for uh, like, but uh, the Balia itself, or the name of the Balia. Uh, is uh, like uh, based on uh, the writer, uh, like uh, very famous writer or uh, like uh, say a saint uh, uh, who write the Ramayan Valmiki, uh, uh, write the Ramayan uh, like uh, Valmiki ji. Uh, so uh, the Balian name itself, uh, like on her, in his name, and also uh, there is a uh, Bhirgu Mandir, uh, which is very famous uh, in our uh, like district. Also uh, there is a Surahatal, uh, which is a uh, bird sanctuary. Uh, which is very famous uh, for uh, in our district and like most of the like tourists uh, come to see the bird sanctuary in our uh, district. So it is famous for the Bhirgu Mandir and uh, also for the Balmiki uh, itself and also uh, for the bird sanctuary uh, which is called uh, Surahatar. Okay, and who's called the tiger of Balia? Mangal Pandey. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, Shubham, I let me just give you. Uh, abhi aapka thoda sa confidence kyun kam nazar aa raha hai? Aap pehle bhi de chuke ho, hai na? Yes, ma'am. Aapka confidence kam nazar aa raha hai. Uh, even aapki introduction bhi itni perfect nahi thi, jis tarah se wo bolni okay. jani chahiye thi. Theek hai? To okay. aapko uska flow dekhna hai. Words samajh mein aane chahiye jo aap bol rahe ho, aur flow bhi dekhna hai. Theek hai? Although yes. it was okay, जो जो आपने बताया that was okay. Uh, then हमने uh, आपको अपना ये uh, general knowledge of your native place and uh, ये सब आपको ठीक करना है HRL के बारे में चीजें और थोड़ा petroleum industry से related कुछ भी चीज है कुछ भी news है ये आपको देखनी है. Yes sir. ठीक है even G20 में भी कुछ भी हो रहा है जो oil से related क्योंकि oil refinery से related कुछ भी पूछा जा सकता है. Yes, okay. okay, so you just review all these things. Plus, you do five years ke baad aap honge, isko thoda sa aur achha karo answer ko. Okay? Yes, okay, thoda flow mein. Actually, you have to be answer flow in it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay
अटक रहे थे आंसर करने में आई थिंक लाइक मुझे लगता है कि मतलब मैं ये सोचता हूँ कि मैं बहुत ज्यादा तेज बोलने लगा हूँ तो मैं ब्रेक लेने लगा तो और ऊपर से ना जहाँ आप हिंदी में बोलना चाहते हो वहाँ हिंदी में बोल दो ठीक है स्पीक इन हिंदी ठीक है अगर जहां लगता है कि पूरा इंग्लिश में पूरा आप वो नहीं कर पाओगे एक्सप्लेन अच्छे से नहीं कर पाओगे से इट इन हिंदी चाहे जैसे आपके बलिया के बारे में पूछ रहे हैं तो हिंदी में बोलना है तो आप हिंदी में बोल दो ठीक है फाइन तो जहां आपको लगता है कि हिंदी वुड बी बेटर एक्सप्लेन मतलब एक्सप्लेनेशन जो होगी आपकी वो हिंदी वुड बी इन हिंदी इट वुड बी बेटर देन यू से दैट थिंग इन हिंदी ओके फाइन तो थोड़ा सा ये पूछा था जैसे इंट्रोडक्शन अगर मैंने इंग्लिश में दिया और फिर मैं हिंदी में स्विच किया तो इससे कोई इफेक्ट तो नहीं आएगा नहीं नहीं ऐसा है ना इंट्रोडक्शन आप कोई भी आंसर किसी भी लैंग्वेज में दे सकते हो ठीक है आपकी अपनी मर्जी है ठीक है ओके ऐसा नहीं है कि हिंदी में देना तो हिंदी में देना इंग्लिश में बाइलिंग एक आंसर आपने इंग्लिश में दे दिया और दूसरा हिंदी में दे दिया उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता ठीक है ठीक है